Wow guys, we have some really big things to talk about today, including robots might be replacing you as a creator on YouTube, and a huge update that Google rolled out to their algorithm that affects 90% of the searches people are doing, and it's going to deeply affect how our videos rank and are found here on YouTube. That and a lot more is coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Tuesday, which means it's time to look at some online video news from last week and talk about the implications it has for us as creators. And the first thing I want to start with is a new thing that YouTube is doing called the Creator Pulse. It's basically a newsletter that goes straight to your email inbox, giving you the latest lowdown on all the new updates that they've been making to the platform, as well as highlighting some creators that they think that you might want to know about. Basically what it's doing is taking what I do here in these videos and making it way simpler for you because right now, I go to like, I don't know, hundreds of different websites, gather all this material, pull it all together into one place and try to deliver it for you in these videos because I know how time consuming that is. Believe me, I definitely know how time consuming that is. And they're kind of doing the same thing now in this email. So if that's something that you feel like you could benefit from, it's really easy to sign up for it. All you do is go to your YouTube channel's account notifications and in there, check the little box that says all YouTube newsletters and that'll put you right on the list and it should start coming to your box. I don't know, next time they send it out. Also last week, YouTube YouTube announced their music awards. They're going to take all the top music videos that have been shared over the past year by all of us on YouTube, and they're going to take those as like nominations to enter into this big award ceremony, which will be streamed from many different cities around the world, culminating in one big live stream from New York City, and where the awards presumably will be handed out and distributed based on how we vote. And the way we vote is simply by sharing the different videos to our social networks. And the videos with the most shares end up winning, which sounds great, but come on, like we're putting like YouTube musicians up against like Lady Gaga and Eminem, like hopefully there will be some YouTube musicians that actually win, but it doesn't seem like it's actually oriented for YouTube musicians, unfortunately. A major update to Google that is really important for all of us to read is a link in the description text below from Real SEO that goes into more in depth about what Google's new update to its algorithm called the Hummingbird update, what it's going to mean for video SEO and us as creators who depend on search for a lot of our videos to be found. The whole update can really be summarized by saying that Google is no longer showing results based on like keyword matching, but actually they're trying to figure out more about what the user's intent is for what they're actually searching for. Rather than having an emphasis on showing users results for their search queries, instead they're now focusing more on delivering answers to what they think the question is that that user might be asking. This will especially apply to like really long search queries that people make in Google. Like for me, I'm actually more trained from back in the old days of like the 90s to search based on keywords I'm actually looking for. But today, due to like Siri on smartphones, like people are actually just talking to Siri and like using normal conversational English to search the web for stuff. And this is Google's response to that and probably many other things too, but definitely including that. Like think of it this way, instead of thinking about what keywords someone might be searching for that would also match the keywords that you are using in your videos, instead think of what question might someone be asking and what, qu and does this video answer that question in a way that would make this video a relevant result or an answer to that question that they're searching for. The blog post from Real SEO goes into a lot more detail about this. I highly recommend that you take the time to read it. The link again is in the description text below, but just generally overall, keep in mind user intent, not just keywords. There's a new Israeli based startup called Watch It, which is actually automating the whole video creation process to robots. And they're producing hundreds of clips per day. And now they're running big news video portal sites like that on Yahoo and other places. Places. The way it works is that these computers go out and find news stories that are being published on reputable news websites, and then they take that story, they search the internet for relevant images, relevant video clips, and then someone at the actual company does a really quick narration. They give the computer that narration, and in about 10 minutes total, it takes to create an entire news clip video. And actually, guys, the results are quite impressive. Click on the link in the description text below to go check one out and see one for yourself, but I was like, 
man, a machine made this? Like, you can kind of tell there's, like, kind of a lack of human touch to the video overall. But if you're just strictly wanting to watch the news and get down to the nitty-gritty facts and details rather than reading about it somewhere, this actually does quite an impressive job. So the question is, will eventually video creation be outsourced to robots just like everything else in our society seems to be doing? Granted, automation is usually a much more efficient, cost-effective process, but a lot of us love making stuff. Like that's like how we express ourselves and that's how we talk to people and so many other things. Like there's, there's such a strong human element to creating video that it just seems kind of unfortunate to outsource it. But for content like this, it kind of seems to make sense and I would love to hear from you guys what you think about all this. As always guys, I wanna end this with three really quick links for you guys I don't really have time to go into, but I definitely think are valuable for you guys to go check out. The first one is about why you should actually stop zooming in and out on when you create your videos. This is on videomaker.com and they make some very valid points that I had never considered. And so I think actually, I obviously don't do zooming on these videos, but when I do like other videos with my family and stuff, I actually do zoom in and out a little bit. And now I think I'm going to stop. Number two, last week we talked about the new commenting feature that's rolling out across YouTube. And we talked about a lot of different features with that, but we didn't mention that the new commenting system, since it is integrated with Google Plus, will let you plus tag people in comments which is awesome because sometimes like you guys ask questions I'm like I don't actually know the answer to this but Ronnie Bencher might know the answer to this or someone else or you know I can just like tag people then and bring them into the conversations on these videos to help answer questions and start interacting and really make the comments more dynamic so I think that's kind of cool. And number three there's another link down there below from Real SEO that talks about how different emotional triggers prompt sharing in different territories and different countries so like if you're in the US you're probably used to like one type of emotion triggering triggering sharing but if you are like you know brazil which is what the example is from this story i actually have a totally different set of emotions so if you're trying to make like geographical like global impact with your videos you're trying to reach different countries different cultures this uh post might be one worth checking out and that's what i have for you guys today thanks for hanging out if this is your first time here i'd love to have you subscribe every tuesday we took a look at online video news just like this and help you guys understand what it means for you guys as you're continuing to develop your content and your audiences here on YouTube. On Wednesdays, we give you guys some YouTube tips and advice and ideas and suggestions. And then on Thursdays, we do some YouTube Q&A with you guys just to help you out because I believe that a lot of you guys have really strong messages that could really change the world if the people who need to hear what you have to say can only hear what you have to say. And I love being a part of helping you guys change lives. So thank you for letting me join you in that mission. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.